welcome delegates on the session on international and MNC marketing and trading. Uh, this course uh, is launched subsequently after we did international identity uh, business course, uh, which we have done for almost uh, now a year time. And now this we want to go in for uh, full fledged, you know, the second step of our uh, marketing conference or sessions. So we will see this uh, international and MNC marketing and trading, how useful it is for the existing uh, businessmen, those who are having businesses for export and import, and also the local, uh, you know, manufacturers and the traders and the whole fraternity of the business. Basically, this course was devised to make our mindset multinational. You know, even if you are starting a new company, if your mindset is uh, like a multinational, then what benefits you will have or what vision you will have? You will have a world class product. You will have, uh, you know, multiple country operation. So you will imbibe that kind of the mindset and then you will go further. So what uh, points we will cover uh, in this course is what is trading? Is what is trade, trading, domestic, international, exports, imports, uh, why the balance of payment happens, uh, what are the exporting things, what are the importing things, which are the players and so on and so forth. Then basis of international trade. You know, what is the basis? Why it happens? International trade happens due to geological deposits or natural resources, different scales of economics and etc. Et so this trading and basis of uh, why this uh, international trade happens. So in the course we will go into B. So this is just we are giving you the overview uh, of what, what this course will cover. right? So international marketing main topic of ours. So international marketing is more than actually exporting. So it could involve the company uh, in the marketing in the foreign countries for the goods or locally or partly manufactured or uh, assembled in the another country and then in that those country we may take locally consume or we may re-export it. So this is what is the basis of you can say the international marketing. And, uh, you know, uh, in this, uh, we need to create uh, basically a world class product. Then only we can go for the international marketing uh, mindset and then our products can go, which are the world class. So the products have to be adopted to suit uh, the test and the needs and economic and characteristics of the consumers in the specific region. And rather than it is being assumed that, you know, uh, that the the product which is in the domestic country which we are selling, it will be the similar pattern. No, it has to be a world class product and to test a particular country or a particular region or start of the people. And accordingly, we will take to another country. And integration of this international marketing side, companies has to uh, have the operations uh, like the strategies, uh, undifferentiated strategies, the differentiated strategies and the concentrated strategies. The course will go into the deep of this. Then factors relevant uh, to the international marketing, like the social factors and the economic factors and the competition, logistics and risk involved and so on and so forth. So these are the uh, you know things we'll go into the uh, deep, uh, but from the different perspective of international marketing, because uh, routine wise also into the marketing you are studying several factors. But here we are going into the deep because uh, the many countries are involved and not only the domestic uh, you know, kind of market. Then what is the uh, international and MNC market? International marketing means marketing across a particular national frontier means it is going out to uh, reach out to one country uh, which is uh, in the, uh, outside the national uh, frontier and uh, while marketing and international marketing means integrated, coordinated firms' efforts and activities throughout the world. Right? So we will go for the multinational marketing setup or thinking. So international marketing will be across a, na a particular national frontier and international uh, means MNC marketing will be integrated towards going into the throughout the world by study. So multinational marketing which will uh, prepare the global strategies and relatives into the production 
and marketing and derive the significant proportion of the business from operations in abroad or rather various countries. So their uh, profit should derive at least 20% from the overseas country. So they will have a domestic operation, but at least 20% should be abroad. This I'm talking about the theoretical definition. But if you ask me, we should at least should get to have the profits coming for the multinational company 60%. This is, you know, uh, kind of a, uh, edited or uh, enhanced uh, kind of my MNC marketing definition. That if you have a 60% uh, profits uh, uh, coming from the outside countries, then definitely your uh, local country or domestic country, you will have a more foreign nations coming in in your country by kind of a royalty or whatever the arrangements we have in different countries. So these are the very important thing to have the MNC uh, marketing setup and so that you will uh, have the foreign exchange for your domestic country where your headquarters is. Then examples of MNCs like PepsiCo is there or uh, you know, Coca-Cola is there or Citigroup is there or General Electric is there or General Motors are there or in the uh, Context with India will be like Hindustan Labor, LG, Samsung, Toyota. So they have become a synonym name like a local uh, local marketing or a manufacturing company. Like now IKEA is coming up. Now Microsoft is already there so many years. Apple is uh, putting up this uh, manufacturing shop in India. So these multinationals are becoming like a synonym or they, they are like a local companies. So it has uh, got such a presence and with the Indian collaborations, it become uh, like a multinational uh, kind of a companies in the India base. So we think like it is a domestic uh, company. So same way we will have to have our operations into different countries and it looks like a, it is a domestic uh, operations in those countries. Now there are Indian multinationals also like Asian Paints, Tata Motors, Saran Baxi, ECS and uh, Walkhard and Aditya Birla, UPPL is United Prosperous, Vedanta, Arvindo Pharma and many more, ONGC and all these kind of companies are also, you know, buying the, uh, the basins uh, into the sea and uh, trying to get uh, different folk holes into the different countries. So, uh, this is what is we uh, study in our course, uh, international marketing and uh, MNC marketing, international marketing. Then exporting. What is exporting? We will have a direct and indirect export, passive and active export, scope of the international marketing uh, by opening the office abroad or subsidiaries or licensing or savings or uh, having uh, what do you call the consulting offices or a turnkey project office or so on and so forth. So what are the different environments? Um, is the different uh, in the domestic and the international marketing? There are uh, we will find or narrate maybe two or three, but actually uh, we have tried to narrate about 16 differences of the domestic and international marketing. You know, that market is domestic, or the currency is same in the domestic, but here it is a multiple uh, currency and multiple languages, multiple challenges and all that into the international market. But we'll go in deep into our course, course when we go through our course. Then working environment, domestic, foreign, cultural and economic environment. We we'll study the environments and how it affects and how we have to study, need to study so that when we launch the product, we need to have researched all these kind of environments and economic environments. Uh, because even the domestic environment also uh, matters, uh, you know, and have to have a controllable elements so like a product price, promotion, distribution, but then uh, you'll have an uncontrollable like uh, political forces or legal or economic but when you go to international marketing, even this uh, you know, controllable and non-controllable, uh, uncontrollable elements from domestic, and also we have to go through the international uh, marketing firm uh, in another country where this becomes the complex. You know, so con uh, controllable and uncontrollable uh, will be difficult. Then industrial structure, subsistence economies means uh, a simple agriculture economy, the income basis of the country is of the agriculture, then raw material uh, economies and then there are exporting countries economies with the natural uh, source of income and industrial economies like India, Philippines and uh, you know Vietnam and other countries, Brazil and Egypt 
So where twenty percent of GNP is coming from the you know manufacturing, then industrial, totally industrial economies, which are the major exporter uh, countries like Japan and USA and other European countries, and they are also the investing firms uh, like in UK and other countries. And then uh, we'll summarize all this: how we should take the benefit of uh, you know this knowledge while implementing a new company or startup company also. Or the existing company can change the mindset to multinational mindset and also have the international operations in various countries. You may start with export, you may start with international marketing, but your mindset and your final goal should be to become like a multinational company. So this course uh, will cover in part one or one session or one section, I would say, uh, that uh, this kind of international and MNC marketing and trading. In the next session uh, we'll see. The globalization, right? So we'll brief on the globalization as part of this uh, extended course. Thank you so much.